look at both sides, I think there's blame on both sides. And I have no doubt about it, and you don't have any doubt about it either. President Trump doubles down. He once again says the blame should be shared for the deadly chaos in Charlottesville, Virginia. The president made those comments during a heated news conference today at Trump Tower. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Nicole Brewer. Jessica has the night off. Eyewitness News reporter David Spunt is live in the SAT Center tonight with reaction to the president's latest remarks. David? Nicole, good evening. President Donald Trump is in Trump Tower right now in Manhattan. The president spoke his mind at this news conference earlier today. Just yesterday, he read prepared remarks from a teleprompter. Blame, yes, I think there's blame on both sides. Back at home inside Trump sides. Tower, President Donald Trump spoke for the third time about out-of-control race-fueled demonstrations in Charlottesville, Virginia over the weekend, and he didn't hold back. Many of those people were there to protest the taking down of the statue of Robert E. Lee. So, this week it's Robert E. Lee. I noticed that Stonewall Jackson's coming down. I wonder, is it George Washington next week, and is it Thomas Jefferson the week after? When asked about the hate group called the alt-right, the president called those protesting that group the alt-left. You had a group on the other side that came charging in without a permit, and they were very, very violent. Surrounded by a few cabinet members, President Trump was supposed to talk about infrastructure, but the questions about Charlottesville and race took center stage. If we continue to create jobs at levels that I'm, I'm creating jobs, I think that's going to have a tremendous impact, positive impact on race relations. The president admonished the man who police say drove his car into a crowd, killing a 32-year-old named Heather Heyer. I think the driver of the car is a disgrace to himself, his family, and this country. And that is, you can call it terrorism. You can call it murder. But many have criticized the time between the tensions in Virginia and multiple statements on camera from the president. I didn't wait long. I wanted to make sure, unlike most politicians, that what I said was correct, not make a quick statement. The statement I made on Saturday, the first statement, was a fine statement. But you don't make statements that direct unless you know the fact. It takes a little while to get the facts. New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez tweeted, quote, the president of the United States just went on TV and defended people attending a white supremacist rally of neo-Nazis and Klansmen. Just sickening. Republican House Speaker Paul Ryan tweeted tonight, quote, we must be clear white supremacy is repulsive. This bigotry is counter to all this country stands for. There can be no moral ambiguity. We know that President Donald Trump will head back to Bedminster, New Jersey tomorrow as the White House West Wing continues renovations. Reporting live tonight, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.